Quantumania. Like WrestleMania. And just and like WrestleMania's, this movie is way too fucking long. <laughs> it's way too long. It does not need to be this long. You could have made your point like in two hours. Two hours. I would have given you that. You could have made your point two hours. And just like previous WrestleMania's, the main event had the wrong finish. This movie had the wrong finish. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Just fucking go for it. Just go for it. I can almost guarantee you if you would have stuck with that ending and not have a cop-out ending, you would have had a lot more fans praising this for taking a chance and a risk. And also, Modoc. Now, I've only seen the Hulu original cartoon series, and Modoc in that is a fucking asshole, and not like a Dennis Leary asshole, like a Dennis Miller asshole, right? And that's how you kind of portrayed him in this movie. I'm not really sure, because I'm pretty sure in the comics, Modoc is a fucking vicious bastard. I don't even, and I don't even give a shit that he looks that way. I mean, because if you look at the comment, I mean, I mean, come on. I can't even be mad at that. Like, I can't even be mad at that. Jonathan Majors is the best part of this movie. He is the best fucking part of this movie. And this, I don't want to say this fixes Marvel's villain problem because they have a lot of issues with their villains and making them so cookie cutter. But I didn't, I didn't feel like Kang really came off as a cookie cutter villain. I felt like he was someone that was really dangerous and someone that could really put Lang, like, really end Lang. Like, I really felt that way. And I didn't feel that way about any villain. You know, even Thanos. I felt like Kang actually had a, I think Kang has actually have a better build than Thanos. I still to this day think Thanos was the biggest missed opportunity in the Infinity Saga. Because they did not build him up right. This is just like a, just like an initial raw reaction to this. I'm going to be doing a much more uh, in-depth review on the Cinema Space podcast on Wednesday. So be sure to check that out. Uh, when that drops on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast.